Bucks and some familiar faces among the favorites for the Heisman Trophy. A couple of them in new places. Uh, we got Tua and Trevor, the leaders out of the gate, followed by transfers Jalen Hurts and Justin Fields. Adrian Martinez entering the fray. And we got one non-quarterback up there with Jonathan Taylor. Let's further examine the contenders. Why are Tua and Trevor the favorites? Two simple reasons. They play quarterback. Can you send in your Heisman ballot now? And 16 of the last 20 Heisman trophies have been presented to signal callers. Lights, Cameron, action. He's a surgeon. He's a magician. Baker Mayfield, give him the Heisman trophy. They also play for teams expected to make the college football playoff. Since the inception of the CFP, the only Heisman winner without a football four appearance was Louisville quarterback Lamar Jackson. Jackson went all the way! Wow. Being one of the favorites, of course, is no sure thing, as the 2017 Heisman runner-up Bryce Love proved a year ago. Love struggled through injuries on a team that finished the regular season with just eight wins, a win total that all but kills your chances, even with a great season. The last Heisman winner to play on a team that won fewer than nine regular season games was Ricky Williams back in 1998. That is a Heisman Trophy winning run. Running backs, of course, do win the award now and again, as Alabama's Derrick Henry and Mark Ingram can attest. Ingram's got running room, he's in! Touchdown, Alabama! But it's been over two decades since Michigan defensive back and special team star Charles Woodson took home the award. He was the last winner that did not play quarterback or running back. Oh, but good luck matching what he was able to do. Uh, not only do you have to be on a, on a winner, it really feels like you got to be a quarterback now. Well, of course. Everyone knows, if they're honest, that this is a quarterback award. Uh, sometimes uh, a running back will sneak in there, but the quarterbacks, uh, this is their ultimate uh, reward for having an outstanding season. You okay with that? Uh, I'll tell you what. <laughs> to me, it's the best player, and, and Barry Sanders. Okay. Uh, okay. Right. right. You said running back. Well, we, it should be the <laughs> I mean, best player, but it's usually the quarterback. That's all I'm saying. You're getting into your Z angles there. Yeah. No, no, I just get down to the tailback stance. Tailback stance. It, it, it's the quarterback nowadays, too, that can run a little bit. That's creative. So it's like a hybrid between yeah. a passer and runner. I mean, the majority of these guys are doing both. They're not just throwing right. touchdowns. They're running touchdowns. So you got to be able to mix it up a little bit. Yeah, a lot of offense. That's why Jalen in Oklahoma has a good chance. Yeah, so, so putting the focus on the quarterback here first, Coach, give me, uh, give me your Heisman finalist. I'll do it. Let me start at number three. I'm going to start with a running back, BJ. Oh, thank you. DeAndre Swift. Oh, I love it. Uh, I love his physicality. Over 1,000 yards last year with injury. Stay healthy. And don't forget, oh, he's got a great offensive line. Yeah. How about this guy? Tua Tungavaloa. If you would have stopped the season last year at about eight or nine weeks, hand him the trophy, yeah. right? Everybody was talking about Heisman. So many numbers, so great. He'll be right back in it. But here's the guy right now so far, uh, number one for me, Trevor Lawrence, six foot six, uh, championship quarterback, leads, can throw every throw, and very, very accurate. And it helps having the receivers that he has out there, Justin Ross and T. Higgins, yes. making amazing grabs, especially uh, in the CFP. Exactly. It helps doing what he did against Alabama. Right. <laughs> Made a huge name for himself, and a lot of people talk about how he's NFL ready now. Uh, however, we're making it a little extra challenging for our in-house quarterback, oh. Aaron Murray, here. You can't pick any quarterbacks no for your Heisman finalists. So uh, I want to pick some skill guys. There's plenty of good skill guys there. So we'll start with number three, a good receiver, Jerry Judy right here. Ooh. The thing I like, a lot of talent all over the place. He can't get one-on-one -on -one matchups, or he's going to get one-on-one -on -one matchups with a great quarterback. DeAndre Swift, not only catching, running the football, but catching as well the backfield. He should have a lot of big numbers if he stays healthy this year. But number one, we saw him up there earlier. Jonathan Taylor, I like this back. He's big, he's strong, he's physical, he has the speed. The question mark for this team is four offensive linemen departed after last season. He's not going to have all those big boys up front. They're going to have to figure that out, plus a new quarterback. Man, look at him. He, he, he has everything crazy. you like at, for the running back position. They always got a, a, a lot of big boys. They do got a lot of big gotta boys. Put in some new ones. They're going to find some big ones now. Yeah, they gave him bigger ones coming yeah. in. Uh, all right, now BJ's going to try to really uh, bust the odds Ooh, here. And yeah. Give us only defensive Heisman candidate. Yeah, I struggled at my third one because I was going to go with Dylan Moses of Alabama, but I'm going to go with Shaquille Carterman, 82 tackles a year ago. He had six sacks, eight and a half tackles for loss. This guy's been a starter ever since he stepped on 
on campus at the U. And Kelly, Kenny, excuse me, will kiss. That's his name. And he will kiss a quarterback, folks. A hard way, though. This guy was a former walk-on. <laughs> Led the Big Ten last year with 20 and a half tackles for loss. And number one, my man, Grant oh, Stepin. Uh -uh. Stepped up on the scene a season ago and just went off. Five interceptions. He had five sacks as well, four and a half tackles for loss, 74 tackles, and he's going to change numbers this year. He's going to wear that coveted, famous Ooh. number seven. But that comes a lot of pressure. You know, Tyron Matthews, Patrick Peterson, the greats were number seven on that defense side of the ball there at LSU. And wow. he, was a, he was a finalist for the Nagurski Trophy, yes. Defensive Player of the Year as a sophomore last season. All so going to have a, a big responsibility.